So you did about two hours of this every day after school. It's going to be a bodybuilder. Oh, right. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh, beautiful sunrise this morning. Now it's time to go get these really useful boxes so that when we get home, I can finish, more or less, sorting out the office. Wow. So much for a clean car. So this is where we're gonna go and grab these uh, really useful boxes. Yeah, I want the smaller ones than these. Where are the small ones? Where are the small ones? Ah. Oh yes. Okay, I need boxes for cables, audio, batteries and solar. I need ducting and command strips as well. Not quite sure where uh, this mountain of really useful boxes is going to go in the car. Okay, not going to bother plugging in again because we've got more than enough range to get home without any issue. And I've got more than enough really useful boxes now, which is very exciting because I really do want to get that office properly sorted so that I can move on to the garage and I need to build a rack in the garage something I can hang all my long boards off anyway today I'm going to sort of talk to you about the sort of mobile vlogging gear that I've got because it's sort of changed a bit recently I've been paring it down to the the bare essentials that I want to take with me basically everywhere and that's what I've got in this backpack so let's have a quick look I've taken a bunch of stuff out of here recently and I've put some new bits in. So first thing we've got is a Fusion. And this GoPro Fusion has got a built-in extending sort of tripod thing. These bits open like this, you plonk it down and then you can extend it up and 360 degree video, very cool, very cool. Kind of use this as my emergency gimbal as well if I feel like I need one on the skateboard. Manfrotto sort of tripod with a Joybe ball head on top. This also has a Joybe ball head on top. This is just a kind of small monopod thing. I have an assortment of USB cables, USB sticks, micro SD card adapters, all, all the sort of little bits and bobs that I need in order to clear down my cameras and charge them up when I need to. Zoom H1 microphone for those times when I need to record audio separately for one reason or another. Right, this is my sort of in-car shooting kit. So this has got a Hero 4 Black in there and also a Hero 5 Session for pointing forwards. So that one points in the car, that one points forwards and there's a little microphone as well. A little lapel mic. Uh, wireless earphones, which are just purely for when I go exercising and I want, to, I want something to listen to, that's what I use. A GoPro wrist strap, I didn't even know I had that in the bottom of the bag. Skate tool, essential. Ah, and my go-to waterproof camera. This is the Hero 6 Black. Great little camera, this one. Really handy. Yeah, that's the end of it. So, you see, I've taken quite a lot of stuff out of my bag because I've got new equipment that can do more things. Of course, also I have this camera that I'm currently shooting with, which is the Sony RX100 Mark V. I've got a new capability, which I'm quite excited by. Let me show you this. I've got these Joybee ball heads, basically on everything, and quick connect plates that will fit into that. If I take this, just spread that out, and then just put that on there. And now I've got like an actual sort of, you know, And it's quite cool that I can have something of that size that actually just fits in my bag. Obviously it's kind of flimsy, so wouldn't be using that in the wind or anything. Yeah, so... What I love about this whole sort of tripod situation I've got going on at the moment is it means that I can do things like this, just set something up quickly. It's part of the challenge for me because I have to kind of weave my vlogging into whatever else I'm doing in the day and I'm always doing something else in the day because you know you've got family. So portability and flexibility are absolutely key to me 
you know, with this little kit I've got everything from waterproof to decent quality 4K camera, got all the connectors and cables I could possibly want, and I've got the 360 degree video, which if you put the sort of software stabilization on that, because it's basically like a sphere of image, it just rotates the sphere, so you don't lose any quality when it stabilizes, and it does a really, really great job. You know, very gimbal-like. Because they did for a while have one of my little hero cameras on a gimbal, and that would sort of live in my bag, but it takes up a lot of room. All these things take up room, and they add weight, and I just need to be able to record in the car, when I want to, record in this sort of situation with a locked off shot and have a reasonable degree of flexibility in you know how I'm setting up shots and stuff like that, which is exactly what this new little sort of sort of tripod situation does for me. Right, we're going. Oh right. Yeah, speed is uh very important for me. Come on, keep excuse me. See you at the pub guys! My ankle is definitely not 100% yet. This is an awesome little pub. We're uh, just gonna grab some lunch here. I'm pleased I managed to get on the board up. I'm just trying to sort of make sure that my ankle sort of builds up what strength it can. Yeah, this is a good example of what I was saying about needing to be quick. Everyone else is in there, I'm just popping out here for a really super duper quick time lapse. But then the food will be soon, so to get on with this. I have learned through bitter experience that you either make the effort for those few seconds to go grab a shot, or you get home and find that you've actually got very little footage to work with. It's so much easier to throw footage away than it is to create footage that doesn't exist. Yeah, right, come on, let's go out there. Sunday lunch. Traditional beef roast with a spongy custard pudding. Oi, so what are you doing? I am absolutely nothing like as comfortable on this board to be, but I'll get there. All right, come on Jasper, jump in. All these boxes, Jasper, are what I'm going to use to organize my office. Why? Because at the moment it's a big mess, and with these boxes I can make it brilliant. I'm to go to no, we're not. We're not going to a supermarket, Jasper. We're going to stop at a garage, okay? So that mummy can get what she needs and not what she doesn't. Hey, Pickle. Mum. Right. Yes, Paul. Oh. I do have the perfect way to wake myself up now. I am going to have a run. I do want to keep up with the, with the everyday side of it because you know, if I get out of that habit, I just know exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be like everything else in my life. It's just going to be, I'll do it less and less frequently until I'm basically not doing it. Right, I'm going to get my really useful boxes out. Hello, out of the car and um, I'll see you guys in a minute. I am gonna have a shorter run today. I'm really, I'm determined not to push it too far, too fast on this ankle. So, two kilometers, not three, not three and a half, not four, two. Oh, 
Well, that didn't go according to plan. I decided to see how 12 kilometers an hour felt, which is my usual training pace. And it felt good. Okay. So what was I talking about earlier? Oh yes, that's right, gear. Well, I'm not going to say any more on that. I mean, obviously my office is full of gear. It's all these are for, somewhere for me to put my stuff up here. But I'm not gonna go through all the various different bits and bobs that are up here just yet, principally because I'm still in the process of organizing it all. Run was good though, it was super satisfying. Oh, you know, I didn't really wanna go for it. I was like, oh, should I just give it a break today? You know, But I, in the end I was like, no, just do the 2K, it's a short distance, you'll be fine. And, oh, <laughs> so satisfying. It's gotta be one of the most satisfying feelings in the world when you don't feel like going for a run and then you go for one and it's a good one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post and found it interesting. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. That's, um, look, see, it's a little tripod thingy. It's good, isn't it? This is brand spanking new, this idea that I've had to just connect everything up to make a, look, it's cool, isn't it? Okay. I really like this because it's so quick. Lower everything and then boom, boom, boom. And then I can just take that off. Now I'm ready to go, more or less.